They belong to all walks of life, ethnicities and religions. These women pioneers are instrumental in shaping our life and who we are today. You had to prove yourself at that time that you're capable. And you had all these handicaps. And, uh, but in spite of that, I must say, they have proved themselves tremendously. In 1988, yet another woman proved herself and made history when she became the first woman prime minister of the Muslim world. And in 1989, Benazir Bhutto set a milestone by establishing the world's only bank for women to be run and managed by women. Uh, there were very, very high expectations that there would be a major social and economic transformation that she would bring and the, as the leader of the People's Party and this transformation that people had been yearning for for so long. That government took very serious stock of the need to empower women and uh, the economic empowerment of women plan envisaged uh, access to credit, access to banking services, uh, financial empowerment, and the First Women's Bank actually is a reflection of that vision and that thought. In the very first week of uh, when we started operation, Benazir Bhutto, she wrote me a letter and she said that your focus should be on financing the women from the low and lower middle income group because it is their need to go into business in order to support their families. And these are the women who can't offer any collateral. The First Women's Bank is uh very unique. Uh, I think it's the only institution in the world uh, which was created uh, for the specific objective of creating financial products for women. And I think this really is a testimony to the wisdom of Shaheed Benazir Bhutto because she was uh, the creator of this institution. This is the story of FWBL, First Women Bank Limited an institution that has helped many women in Pakistan stand on their feet and be counted. Basically, it started with a handful of women, you know, in the banking industry. They were scattered all over. They got us together, and uh, then the challenge was in front of us that we had to run the bank. Now, that was an initial real tough job. And uh, the women uh, at that time, they were so motivated and they were so intensely bogged up with work that they wanted to do, prove themselves. FWBL has a challenging dual role to be a commercial bank as well as a development financial institution for women. The charter undertakes to meet the special needs of women so that they can be full-fledged players in the country's economy. The credit policies that followed from this unique charter was that lending was to be to women either in a, in a firm or a company that was a woman was a managing director or maybe two or three directors or that the women were mainly uh, women employees in that kind of field. FWBL was one of the first commercial banks to introduce microcredit to urban and rural women. You must remember that rural women's work is not counted in any of our economic benchmarks. So when she comes into it, she becomes an uh, economic identity, a commodity to be taken seriously off. So a lot of microcredit is to get her to have a face, a financial face. Ten years ago, Naseem Bibi started making cushions on a modest scale. To increase output, she took a loan from FWBL. पहले मैंने 10,000 रुपया मैंने लिया। उससे से काम मैं शुरू किया। जब मैं काम किया, तो उस तो बाद फिर मैंने ना मेरा कर्ज खत्म हो गया। उस तो बाद फिर मैंने ना नहीं आंधा 10,000 रुपया फिर लिया। दो साल मैंने 10,000 रुपया लिया। उस तो बाद मैं 20,000 रुपया भी लिया। लाला मुसाबिबे खरीदे ने, सरगोदे भी पे� 
इतने सांगले भी सादरा बार नजीक नजीक जिन्हें शहर है ने इतने भी पेची दे सलामा बार भी पेची दे ने FWBL has collaborated with national and international institutions to make microcredit easily available to women across the country. The Zahar Jets Bank da naam hi auratan de naam te hove te auratan waste ode zarur koi na koi achhiyan cheezan koi sahulatan te zarur hon giyan. Group loans are facilitated by FWBL's trained microcredit officers. These meetings and the loans taken are a catalyst for change, enabling women not just to improve their financial situation, but to also follow their dreams. मुझे beautician का काफी ज़्यादा शौक था, लेकिन बस कुछ वजूहात की बिना पर मैं कर नहीं सकी। लेकिन ये कि beautician की एक बात जो है वो मेरे दिल में थी कि मैंने ये करना है किसी भी तरीके से कभी भी मुझे मौका मिला तो मैं ज़रूर करूँगी। Tahira joined the group overseen by the Ghazi Barotha Tarakiyati Idara. She went first for training and then applied for a loan to open up a salon. I was also happy and this is also happy that we will go to Islamabad. The class of the class is also more and more. I was very happy that I had a lot of money. I was very happy that I had a lot of money. I was very happy that I had a lot of money. और बचत वगैरह जब मैं कराऊँ मैं तो खुशी खुशी से मैंने कहा मुझे इतना फायदा हो रहा है मेरी ये कितनी बड़ी ख्वाहिश है जो मेरी पूरी हो रही है। FWBL's partnership with organizations such as Gazi Barota Tarakiyati Idara and National Rural Support Program has brought a change in attitudes, not just of the borrowers. The difference between other banks and First Women Bank is that they also opened their doors to our clients, so the intermediation which was happening was through the bank branches of First Women Bank. So for the first time, their air conditioned and posh offices were open for poor women. That really uh, had a very strong effect on us as well as on the First Women Bank management. Women from village, they are mostly they are shy of uh, males and they, they find very difficult in dealing with them. So I think so they feel very easy coming to First Women Bank. In 1999, a project was launched with the aim to reduce child labour in the carpet industry. FWBL joined hands with ILO and Pakistan Carpet Manufacturers Association in two districts of Punjab. The main purpose was to provide education to the working children as an alternative to making carpets. My name is Mafia Akbar Ali. मैं पंजाब जी बात में पढ़ती हूँ और पहले हम काम करते थे और अब मैं अब हम स्कूल आते हैं अब हमने काम छोड़ दिया। FWBL provided easy credit facilities and training in income generating skills to the mothers and families of these children so that they could have other sources of income. Almost 31 million rupees worth of credit was dispersed to 2,921 women. As a result. 5,842 children were weaned out of child labor. The Jafakash Aurat project in partnership with the Ministry of Women Development has helped the poorest of the rural poor rise above the poverty level. विसादी शहर खराब से थे असाम बनवा रहे हैं पानी लाया सौ शहर होई है सौ और पैगा एक हजार पैगा मीना सानु पता भी नहीं लगा दें द ये पीसीओ चलाने के लिए मैंने फर्स्ट वो मैंने बैंक से कर्जा लिया दस हजार कर्जा लिया मैंने उससे ये मैंने पीसीओ चलाया अब मैं दो साल से काम कर रही हूँ माशाल्लाह म under the Jaffa Kashat project, uh, almost 6,000 women have been benefited from the financial services, which is low, and almost 3,000 women have benefited from uh, skilled training. FWBL's successful microcredit policies have earned it international recognition. Small and medium enterprises are the backbone of any economy but more so of a developing one like Pakistan. Small and medium enterprises is uh, 
uh, the way that a capital uh, starved country such as Pakistan would have to go. We don't have a choice in that. These women had the determination and grit to start small and become hugely successful entrepreneurs and professionals. In 1993, I said that the Women's Bank helps ladies especially. I first and and अब तक मैं एक मशीन के मेरे लोन खत्म होता है तो मैं दूसरी अप्लाई करती हूं और एक और से बेहतर मशीन लेती हूं एवरी वुमन हैज दिस फियर कि पता नहीं कि मैं पैसे वापस कर सकती हूं या नहीं क्या होगा नहीं कर सकूंगी तो यू नो ऑल दीस प्रॉब्लम बट आई फाउंड दैट इट वाज इजी इट केप्ट गोइंग एंड सो वी स्टार्टेड अनदर शॉप इन लाहौर उसके लिए भी वी मैनेज टू गेट a refinance loan from the Lahore branch of First Women's Bank. It's much easier to work with women, I find, because they have the sympathy for you. They, if they trust you, I mean, even bankers are, all women bankers are as tough as men bankers. There's no difference. But the thing is, if they trust you, there's that little, you know, emotional quality that a woman has. So it's so easy to talk to her. It's in shifting towards uh, an export-led growth uh, that the First Women's Bank can play a significant role uh, insofar as it could lend to uh, small and medium-sized industries which have an export potential. And the second, I think, important advantage is that it happens to be a First Women's Bank, so presumably it would be lending to women entrepreneurs and uh, enabling them to uh, go into uh, exports. And I think that uh, could enable uh, women to set the example for the country as a whole. The rise of kitchen cuisine and Zoya Aleem's herbal workshop are other stories of success. I went to many banks. I had nothing to offer as a collateral, no security, nothing. So uh, nobody gave me money. When I came to First Women Bank, they uh, earned, uh, gave me 100,000 rupees and the money was just based on trust and help. Help to establish me. And with that 100,000 rupees, by the grace of God today, I don't know what is the income coming in from which outlet. We are into exports. We are into hotel supplies, we are supplying the clinics and hospitals and we are the largest selling locally made natural product in the country. Most of our branches are in Lahore. We have six in Lahore, two in uh, Karachi and two here in Islamabad. And we have a restaurant here only in Islamabad by the name of uh, KC Grill. With this expansion, Kitchen Cuisine has had the opportunity to join hands with the leading airline to be their flight caterers. It was essentially an invite by Air Blue that why doesn't Kitchen Cuisine come on board and learn about the airline industry and the, the expertise required to do flight catering. I went and discussed this opportunity with First Women's Bank that here is an airline which has just come in and uh, they were excited about the op opportunity of growth in Pakistan. Kosar started a small business by making wipers for a few shops. With the initial loan and credit facilities from FWBL, she was able to expand and establish a highly successful enterprise. They gave me the advice that running finance is more important for running finance. I applied it, my house was lost, they gave me 5 lakh rupees of facilities and I was using it. I told my son that you have to increase your work, see what happens. At that time, my transaction was about 50 lakh rupees. Every year. Then I started with 5 lakh rupees. I did my work. Thank God for the fact that I have a lot of improvement in that time. और मार्केट पूरी जो है ना हम कवर करते हैं बड़ी
With branches in 23 cities and districts of Pakistan, FWBL has financed initiatives which no other bank would have even considered. When I started my project, which was totally uh, female-oriented, this was a project uh, called Smile Again Foundation. This was to help girls who were burnt either by acid or kerosene and replace an ad. That ad, which was placed in all the newspapers, was actually sponsored by First Women Bank and it said that, let's stop the women burning. Applied for a loan, uh, which was to help these girls because uh, the expenses are, uh, it's really, uh, you know, on, on an average, a girl has to go through 30, 25 surgeries and uh, each surgery would cost us a lot of money. So we applied for the, uh, for the loan from the First Women Bank. Uh, you know, it, it was made easy to us. And I feel that if I'm standing anywhere in this project and if I've succeeded, First Women Bank has been my, uh, my plinth of that building which, which is holding on to my cause and our cause in Pakistan. How are you? How are you today? People from a diverse divide of professions and businesses have found in FWBL a friend they could depend on. So we needed, needed some financial assistance to set up the Pir Mene First Women Bank se loan ke liye apply kiya. It's a purpose built school and we started with 40 children, now we have mashallah 400. It was the first time ever that I would uh, deal with a bank. So I just thought of a women's bank, I'd heard about it. And I just went and walked in into the president's office. As a chartered accountant, I found that women's bank was much more flexible and easy to deal with than any other bank. At the same time, they were very strict with their security requirements as well as the procedures. There was no compromise on that. And when you step in, it is a great feeling. It's like um, coming home while you are there. You are treated very nicely. You are taken care of. It, they've really been more like a family to me. It's really been like an extension of a family. Each member really. They've uh, played a very important role in my success, I feel. I found them to be supportive, inspirational, women friendly. It's a sort of sorority. It's a coming home. Here, for women, women bank is necessary that here, I mean, as many of our women, they are not able to have a free discussion with each other. They want that we discuss with women with their problems and their ideas. So it's very easy here from the bank to get the benefit of the women bank. We were in the business of arts. We were in the business of entertainment. And for the first time in my life, if any uh, financing institute uh, helped, came through, and they invested in us, you know, they gave us money so we could do things, you know. So it was a great helping hand. It was uh, First Women Bank was, uh, uh, I would say, uh, is very important in the progress of uh, our organization. Faisalabad and Sialkot are known to be the industrial hub of Pakistan, with factories ranging from textiles to surgical instruments and sports goods. FWBL's credit policies and support services have encouraged women to step out from the conventional role of wives and mothers. The ladies who ladies who are working with the prefer to work with the first home bank. It's a very good thing to do with the first home bank. So it's a very good deal, it's a very good deal. Today, it's a From small and medium enterprises, FWBL has paved the way for corporate clients. These include Ravi Medical Supplies, which employs many women. If a woman bank a cooperation, then a factory. Because of that, the whole system was made and we got a loan and then the business started. City Textiles in Lahore is another corporate client that has grown with the bank.
the formation of our company uh, was luckily 50 percent uh, I was um, uh, taking the share and 50 percent my wife so uh, our formation and corporate uh, system was suitable to uh, first owner bank since 1991 we are with the first owner bank and uh, enjoying the best credit facility To facilitate students, booths have been set up at the International Islamic University in Islamabad and Fatima Jinnah University for Women in Rawalpindi. It's really convenient for free submissions as we come here and secondly, uh, me and my friend have planned to open a saving account for it because uh, it would be very convenient as like uh, whenever we need money we can go for ATM and uh, use this facility. The financial services desks in Islamabad, Lahore and Karachi with the support of Canadian International Development Agency help women to start their businesses. Many of its well-known clients find themselves better organized because of these services. These products are needed that you go inside a bank and everything and all your problems and all your needs are you know, solved under one roof. And I remember uh, a point where I was interested in buying a piece of property and I was very excited about it. I uh, asked uh, the Women's Bank for a, for a loan for that and they, they, they said all right on, you know, we approve it but uh, the way that they went through all the paperwork, their legal advisors sat with me, they, want, they, they, they may wanted to make sure that you know everything that was put on the table by the buyer was correct so there is no but this kind of help honestly I would not have read the fine print trainings conducted by the bank have launched the careers of women in the banking sector across the country FWBL itself is proud to be employing women at all levels from the management level to its network of branches. I'm proud to be a part of FWBL. The importance and need for the first women bank is stressed by women from all walks of life. The first women's bank has two mandates. So its development mandate certainly belongs in the public sector. We see the women's bank as an affirmative action initiative for providing women with more opportunities economic uh, activity possible for women where they can go to a bank, they can open their own account. More important than that is that feeling that I have this um, amount of money that I earned and I can spend. Empowerment is at many levels and financial empowerment gives social empowerment both within the family and outside the family. It is the duty of the government to see that this bank which is really unique flourishes and goes forward to help the women of this country. With the privatization of four of its original stakeholders, the bank's equity has not risen as much as it needs to, to meet the commercial banking requirements as laid out in the Basel Accord. You see this bank was basically set up with a very little equity and 100 million and then later on it is now 283. Now with coming of this Bessel Accord, you know, we have to raise our equity and that is the most biggest challenge we have. It has got a very, very bright future because times are coming when women are getting aware of what capacities, what potentials they have and how economically it can change their lives. FWBL's management and staff have the capability and resolve to meet these challenges head on and transform the status of women from passive beneficiaries to dynamic agents of change.